In this video, I'm going to give you a beginner's guide on how to use the block pattern library in WordPress and speed up the website creation process for you so you can design beautiful looking websites and pages much faster. Let's go. Before we start, let me answer the simple question for you. What are WordPress block patterns? Let me show you instead of explaining it to you. On this beautiful looking page right here, you have a simple design, right? You have a few images uh, using the circle uh, mask in WordPress. They also have a specific theme. You also have some social blocks, some separator blocks, and they're all arranged in beautiful looking columns. You can design this entire block pattern or the entire uh, pattern that you see using the blocks, existing blocks in WordPress. But what if you didn't have to Right? What if you didn't have to design this from scratch and you could have this entire block pattern or this pattern already created for you and hundreds of others and you can simply import them on your site and customize them based on your liking. Wouldn't that help you create beautiful looking designs easier and faster? Of course it would. And that was what the block pattern library is. So let me now give you a demonstration on where you could find the uh, block pattern library and how to add block patterns on your website. Let me just delete this block pattern first. I'll go right here. I'll remove this. And we have uh, back to a simple looking blank page as you would expect in any blank or any starting WordPress site. Now I want to add a block pattern right here, right? So what I would do is go to the block section right here. Yes. And this is a familiar interface, right? If you've created any website or use the block editor, this is what you already know. But have you ever noticed what this is? the patterns library integrated right here in WordPress. If you click this, you'll see all the block patterns that are available to you showing up right here on your website. And you can even filter them. You have the featured option, you have buttons, you have columns, you have galleries, and you have headers, you have text, and you also have some uh, combinations with the query loop. So you have a lot of different options to choose from. Let's go back to featured for a second. Let's say I scroll down, I'm looking at some block patterns and one catches my eye. Let's say this one, I like it. What I can do is just click it and the entire block pattern is now added on my website. How cool is that? So simple, right? And now I can, what I can do is close this option and I have this beautiful looking block pattern right here. And if you go into the navigation menu right here, we'll see that this block pattern is not a special block. It's a, just a collection of blocks. So this has an image block right here. It has columns and inside the columns, we have three different columns. We have a paragraph, we have another paragraph, and then we have button block. So ultimately it's still made, or this block pattern is made with the existing blocks already used in WordPress, but the design part is already taken care for you. So now what you can do is customize this completely on how you like. So instead of having to use this, let's say if I click this image option and I go to the block settings, I still get all the options that I would get if I manually inserted this block. So I again have the option of setting it rounded, adding an alt text and all the options of cropping, linking, and even using the duotone filter in WordPress, all these options available for me. I can replace the image of course, and I can also add captions right here. And I can click this button and change the paragraph. And again, controls with paragraphs, that means the text color, the background color, typography, all those patterns are still present here. I can utilize them completely fully without any restrictions. And the best part is once I've made the change, let's say I want to reuse this same pattern or all the customizations I've done, I want to reuse them. I can save this entire block or this block pattern as a reusable block. So if I go here and if I select this and the column, I can right click, oops, sorry. I can do this and I say add to reusable blocks. So this block, once I've customized this, can become a reusable block. And as you know, reusable blocks can be reused throughout the website and they'll change persist persistently. So if you make, make a change to one of the reusable blocks, it will change throughout your website, but you have the option of changing that behavior. So let's say you want to just change the paragraph on a certain uh, page or post, you can create a reusable block, but then convert it to a regular block once you insert it on the post and make your changes there. So you have complete flexibility of uh, design availability and everything you, you want to do right here inside WordPress. There's a couple of additional things I want to show you in the uh, block pattern library. Let's go back right here patterns. And now you might have noticed that, okay, this is not a best interface because it's very hard to see uh, with a small screen that, okay, how the pattern will actually look like on the site, right? I, I hope you agree. So what you can do instead of using this interface is go to the top 
and click this explore button. So as soon as you click explore, this entire interface will change to this full screen interface, which again is much better in my opinion. It also has a search box. So if you, are, if you already know the name of lock, you can search for it. And similar features we are already seeing right here, like uh, for example, the filtering option, I can click the buttons, columns, gallery, headers, text, and query. But this is again, not the last place where you can look for block patterns. Is that funny, right? You can also see block patterns on a WordPress website. For example, uh, if you go to plugins, you can check out plugins right here from inside the website using the plugins library from the install page. But you can also go to wordpress.org and slash plugins and look at the plugins there. Similarly, if you go to wordpress.org slash patterns, you can reach this page, which is the block pattern library. For example, I'll click this and reach the home page. And this will again feature the same patterns that we were observing right here on this page. So it's a complete interface which you can use to explore block patterns. And there's a couple of things here which I will highlight once I have just given you an example of how the interface works. So you have the filtering options once again, you have the sorting options, the newest and popular. You can scroll through. And just to give an idea, 192 pages of block patterns are available here. So if I let's say go to page two, you can just get an idea of how many block patterns are available on a single page. So I'd say around 20, 25, and you have 63, 64 pages of 20, 25 block patterns available to you. So the block pattern library is exploding. When it started, it started with just a handful of blocks, but now the blocks, uh, the number of blocks has exploded because of a particular reason, and I'll tell you why. So once you've explored the interface of the pattern block library, now you know where to find the block patterns from all three different locations on your site. Technically two, but yeah, a third location or a second interface. But you might have a question in your mind that how do I use the block patterns from this interface on my website. The first two interfaces were pretty simple. Just click and uh, automatically the block patterns added to the page, right? How do I do this? So let me give you an example. Let me go to the block pattern page right here and you'll notice something similar. Notice this is the exact same block pattern that I added to the website. So how do I do that? Let me show you very simply. Just hover over the block that you want to copy or the pattern that you want to copy and just click the copy button. It's that simple. Once you copied it, go back to your post or page, just create a new or click on the page in the blank area, make sure the cursor is active and just press control V. And the block pattern is instantly pasted on your site. And again, you have the same control, right? If I click the image and if I go to these options, you can still see that I still have this exact same options that uh, the image block has. And I can click this and I'll have the similar options to the paragraph block. And I can do all those controls between uh, modifying and customizing this and again, saving it to a reusable block if I need. So that's how easy it is to use the power of block patterns on your website. Before I give you one last important piece of information, let me just clarify what's the difference between block patterns and reusable blocks. Block patterns, as I already demonstrated, there are predefined blocks that you can utilize on your site. And whenever you paste them on a certain page and make customizations, the customization stays on that particular page. They don't, they're not persistent throughout the site. But once you convert it to a reusable block, the changes actually persist throughout the website. So let me just uh, give you a simple example. If I were to make changes to this and save this as a reusable block, then any page I add it to will have the same content. So if I made change to one of the posts, all the posts on my website, which have the same reusable block, will show the same changes. The changes are persistent throughout the website. But you do have the option of, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, to change a reusable block once you add it to a post, to change it to a regular block. So if you want the pattern or the general template to be the same, but you want the content to be different, you can create a reusable block, but then when you add the block to your page, you convert it to a regular block. It's pretty simple to do, and probably we'll have already have a video. I'll try and link it up on the screen if you already show, or if you already have created a video about that. Now, we've covered almost everything about understanding block patterns and what they can do for your website. But there's one interesting thing I'd like to show you. So let's go back to the block pattern library. Let me go to the first page. And you see two different options right here, which is favorites. So you can, once you have created or logged into your WordPress account, I'm not logged in right now, you can see it. So once you're logged in, you can also save your block patterns as favorites. So it's an easy way to remember what you like and just go back to those patterns quickly if you're creating multiple pages on your site. And you also have this option, create new pattern. So if you click here, this will bring you to the login page. And once you've logged in, you'll be able to create your own block patterns and submit to the WordPress.org uh, block pattern library. Uh, using the block interface and also using the code editor. Now, since this is just a beginner introduction, I'm not going to go into details about how to do that, but the block editor is a starting point. As I mentioned, the block patterns that we see right here 
are exactly created with the blocks that we see in WordPress. So if let's say you were able to create something like this, you can take this exact thing and submit it to the block pattern library. And if you're understanding or if you have understanding of code, then you can also utilize code to uh, create block patterns and submit to the uh, block pattern library. And that's it. Simple, simple beginner guide to WordPress block patterns, an easy and powerful way to start creating beautiful looking pages and entire websites using the power of WordPress. All the work, good work done for you. If you enjoyed this video, a like will be appreciated. And if you have any questions, then the comment box is open for you. Make sure to subscribe before leaving and watch some of these interesting videos right here because we make easy to follow along WordPress tutorials that will help you create beautiful websites easily. I'll catch you in the next video.